Hi guys. Um, my other half in a previous life was a professional archaeologist and she worked for the British Museum along with a lot of other places and worked around the world digging up ancient dead bodies and finding treasure. Essentially Laura Croft um, without the shorts sadly. Um, and part of her job was also to conserve um, some of the things in the British Museum etc. So the other day we came across her electron microscope and she said I could play around with it. And my initial thoughts were it would be really great to use the next time my seven year old gets nits at school and we can put this electron microscope on his head and uh, terrify him with the size of the bugs crawling around in it. Um, my thought after that um, was to what I could really do with this thing. Um, it has a magnification of up to 250 times um, and it can do digital recording um, so it's a pretty fancy bit of kit um, and I think it'll be pretty good to look at mortars close up but what I thought I'd do in the meantime while I was playing around with it is really just look at um, some carbon fibre uh, particularly carbon fibre that had broken and what you can see be below you is the splintered arm of um, one of my quads um, under a magnification of around 70 times and what you can see are the carbon filaments but the bit that is really surprising me is how loose they are now to my I'm not an expert on carbon so this is really just you're not going to learn anything here it's just food for thought and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to um, to, to share but these carbon um, fibers should presumably be locked in resin um, and pretty pretty stiff the fact that they sort of loose and just it's essentially this is just like the bristles of a brush they're not even particularly stiff um, to me just seems like a particular flaw in the in the carbon that this particular manufacturer was using um, it doesn't seem to be glued together like I expected it would be now this is the same carbon fiber under a magnification <clears throat> of 250 times and you can really see the, the, the individual strands at this magnification and as you can see the the, the base at the, the top has just um, snapped and lifted layers of carbon um, but I'm really still surprised at how loose the individual fibres are inside and if I go and zoom out to around 20 times you can see on the left the mortar base and you can see where it's snapped and just how loose those fibres are, which to me just doesn't look right. Um, there's there's no resin inside there at all. It's really dry, far drier than I expect it to be. Um, and again, I'm not an expert in carbon fibre, so this is just really me looking at it for the first time properly. Right, next up we've got a different arm from a different broken frame. And again, you can see the toppers snapped off and it's revealing the fibres inside but the fibres inside this particular arm are kind of not glued but resin together epoxied together and as you can see as I'm using the pencil they're not moving there is a little bit of flex in the fibres that are poking out but the, the fibres in the main part are all sandwiched together and again, if we zoom into about 230 times, we can see my pencil marks in the middle. The fibres themselves kind of locked into place, which is what I would expect to see. So the first storm that I showed you that broke, to my mind, was just clearly not manufactured properly in the first place. And again, looking really closely, 
you can see the individual fibers etc uh, this is a close-up of the top sort of matte finish that you would see on most frames as I zoom out and try and find the right level so you can see here that the top layer that we see which is the kind of cross hatch pattern has very little to do with what's going on in the actual carbon weave itself and now we've got a magnification of around 20 times where you can see the arm and the chamfering on either side of the arm and there's a side on look of the arm and you can see the individual carbon sheets sandwiched together and my fingernail, my, the end of my fingers which look disgusting. This last part is just an over, uh, a look of the um, mortar holes. I was just really looking to see if I could see any flaws in the um, in the cut itself but it looks relatively okay to my untrained eye. Now I did look at some frames that hadn't brought to see if I could see a huge difference um, and I, with my limited knowledge I couldn't really see any difference in terms of the surface and the side of the carbon that would let me know you know why one frame broke um, but a, another one didn't so I'm going to keep this on the back burner. I don't really th feel like it's a huge amount of use. Um, looking at the two broken arms, one seemed to be um, really, really dry and the, the, the carbon fibres are really, really loose, which would explain you know, why it cleanly snapped. Um, but the other one appears, to my limited knowledge, to be relatively well manufactured, or at least the individual fibres seem to be um, epoxied together. Um, in resin um, so yeah so I, I don't know how much use this will be if I mean if anybody's an expert in this field or has got any ideas or things to look at then by all means let me know I mean it's a really cool piece of kit um, I don't know if it's going to be any use to to my videos and this hobby in general but I just thought I'd let you have a quick look at what I was um, well what I was seeing um, if it was any interest to anybody anyway guys cheers thanks bye bye